Now, so can you explain what the PSL are is all about first of all before I uh, go into what how clubs have been exploiting that rule? Anyway, the PSL it was brought about, you know, basically to to bring up sustainability in in, in running clubs. You know, uh, in recent times, we realized that. Um, Clubs are being going to are going to a bit of bankruptcy. They are unable to run their club. It's all that with Bolte Wanderers, and so the FA thought it right that okay, that we should bring up some rules and regulation that enables club run their affair and um, without you know without issues without rancor. What it means is that a certain amount of your profit must be cannot be you cannot spend more than a certain amount of your profit on players and wages. Mean that some certain amount must stay back so that you can be able to run your club and run it effectively so you can't run into bankruptcy but like you said um, um i think the percentage at some point was 70 percent at least yeah. uh, i think during the last year 70 percent um is what um, the clubs must not be able to uh, must be able to have more than 70 percent you can't go beyond that 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 marker and um so that the club can have enough to take care of its day-to-day -day activities and then not run into debt every other day of the week so but like you said, some clubs have been finding ways to subvent it, no spend beyond uh, their profit. Um, also, don't forget that rule also enables that they uh, separate the club owners yeah. and the club. You know, in, in the days of Abramovich, when there was no PSR, um, the club owner could easily in, in drop in money from his personal pocket into the club for the run day to day run of activities. Even as that when Chelsea was sold by Abramovich, Chelsea owed him as much as was it four billion four billion dollars. Of four billion pounds, not mistaken, during when he was about selling the club to Todd Bowley. That because he used his own personal funds, individual funds to run the club. And I said, no, enough of that. We've seen a lot of a lot of look at what's happened in China, the China uh, league. A lot of teams have run into chaos when they, they, they use the club owners. What if the, the club owner now goes bankrupt? Or he, he gets to a point where he pulls out his funds and the club can no longer run itself. So they say no. Club can all owners can not are different from the club. They can't just throw money to the club for any reason. The club will be able to generate money that they'll be able to spend. And if they cannot generate money, then they cannot spend. That's the rule. For the amount of money they generate, only 70% of it can be used for players, sales of signing of players and wages, but that's for the run of the club. But still, like I said, clubs have found ways to subvent their rules and it's becoming chaotic. We'll talk about that as the show goes on. Okay, and also there's, a, there's an, an additional addendum to that rule is that um, clubs cannot make more than a hundred and five million pounds losses over the course of three yeah. years. That is an average of exactly. thirty-five million, 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 million pounds. Yes, thirty-five million pounds per season. Once you make thirty-five million pounds, uh, a loss of thirty-five million pounds per season, it means that your organization or your club is not run sustainably. So Absolutely. you are running into profit. Yes, you are running into into um, into uh, losses, losses exponentially. That means there is no sustainability in that. Club. And, the way you spend and this your money, is the way you the way you put your money. Exactly. There's no sustainability there. And don't forget, this is why clubs are padding their their financial statements. They, if you check it, you know Juventus was caught at yeah. some point where they said they padded the falsified figures in their account but because they know. Imagine you lose it, going on a loss. First of all, it doesn't tell well of your CSR that you it doesn't tell well of the club and even sponsors, the guys who pay money to want to invest in the club. If you know in, in business, it's all about investments, about figures. So they falsify these figures and yeah. make you feel like the club is the club is healthy when in reality the club is running under a serious debt, suffering and suffering really badly. So that's why um the, but the, like I said, love the, the, we're looking at the ways where club have prevented it. Some of them have been curbed. Some of them are, you know, like they say, there's they tax evasion, they stack avoidance. It's just about yeah. to find loopholes in every rules. And that is why every day it's a, it's a matter of discussion every season. The big club owners don't like it. They think they, they, in the, they, at the start of this season, they brought up a new kind of rule where they, they, they say it's not, they say it's work concurrent with the PSR. I'm trying to remember the exact rule they brought, the exact one that would say it must run concurrently alongside the PSR. Because they feel that the PSR is stifling them, especially the big owners, to invest in their club because they can't. When they try, and most of them try to go use, and we'll come to that third party, we'll come to that very soon. But now they try to survey the rule. <laughs> a a okay, lot of things yeah. are, a lot of things are going on, if you know.